oh my god, I shouldn't have been text messaging and drinking coffee and surfing the internet all at the same time. Thank God for Volvo. Thank you. Thank you, XC60. You know, it wasn't that long ago we checked out Volvo's anti-collision technology known as City Safety. Other car makers have the same technology, especially the premium brands, but now we've got a new player in the game to try and save ourselves from each other. And that car maker is Subaru. First off, we're going to uh, accelerate up to about 30 kilometers an hour, which I'm doing now. I'm going to let off, take my foot away, even my hands. And there you go. It's called the Subaru EyeSight system. It's an innovative new safety feature available on the 2013 Legacies and Outbacks. It uses two cameras, so the system can actually recognize objects out on the road. So similar almost to uh, like a fighter jet, it, it tracks different obstacles and assesses the risk to uh, yourself. When you suddenly realize that you're getting that close, your immediate reaction is to hit the brake hard. Now, if you do, that's all for the good, but uh, it's really hard not to put your foot on the brake. In certain scenarios, if the visibility is poor or the cameras have been impaired, it will be disabled and it will notify the driver of that. The system can be deactivated by the driver if uh, he or she so feels. Okay, it's great technology, but I can just see the lawyers now rubbing their hands together with glee. I mean, think about it. Guy gets in his Subaru, flicks the eyesight off, ends up rear-ending somebody, flicks it back on and says, officer, it wasn't me, it was this eyesight technology. I don't see that happening at all because one of the things that we keep stressing is that the responsibility for driving lies with the driver and so the onus and responsibility is still with them. But what EyeSight does is gives them some additional benefits that make driving more relaxed, more enjoyable and make them feel more confident but not overconfident. Quite impressive. You're right, there's no acceleration at all. It, it just it basically gutted the, uh, the throttle. It, it was difficult for me to try to drive into the back of something because that's just not what I'm trained to do. So that was a little bit difficult. But once you, once you realize what this can do, yeah, it, it is pretty impressive, the, the sort of technology that goes into this. With some of the other systems, if you do touch the brake, it shuts everything off. With this one, it doesn't. If you touch the brake and you don't touch it hard enough, it actually applies the brake harder, and I think that's a big plus. This is the sort of thing that part of me wants to say, let's just train drivers much better, and we don't need stuff like this. And the other part of me says, if we're not gonna train drivers better, then I hope that the person that's behind me has something like this in their car. And in reality, this system, in order to pay for itself, it only has to activate once.